Hello there! This is an astrological forecast for Scorpio for the month of December 2009. And this also applies if you have a Scorpio ascendant. So you Scorpios, we've got Sun, Venus and Mercury in your second house for the first two, three weeks of the month. So this is going to be a big focus, a big light shining on your income, your finances, your own, in, your own earned income. Are you doing what you love to do? With Venus here as well, you need to focus on the things that you love, the things that you enjoy doing. This will be a real focus for you, particularly these first couple of weeks as well, with Mercury in that house. It's a great time for marketing. Maybe putting out a flyer, telling people what you're doing, particularly maybe offering something special for the holidays. This is a great time to do it with these planets in your second house. It's also a time to shine a light on your values. What's important to you? We're coming to the end of another year. It's time to look at the issues that you've dealt with this year and has there been enough focus on the areas that are important to you that you value now? So a real time to shine a light on what's important to you. We've also then, after about the second, third week of the month, we then have these planets in your fourth house, sorry, in your third house, Scorpio, of communication. So really important, anything connected with learning, anything connected with reading, with writing, with sharing information, with computing, with technology, with your community at large, with your neighbourhood and your neighbours. This is a great time to make connections. People maybe you, who you don't normally speak to, speak to them. Find out if they need something. Find out if you can enjoy being with them. Maybe you find somebody with the Venus there, somebody who's interesting who you would like to make more of a friend. So these are lots of opportunities coming up. I have to alert you that Mercury goes retrograde on the 26th of December until the uh, 14th of January. So uh, for those of you that watch me regularly, Mercury retrograde, not a time to start a new project or anything like that. However, it's unlikely because luckily this time this Mercury retrograde does fall during the holiday season. So it's unlikely that you're going to be signing important documents, leases, contracts, anything legal. This is not the time to do it because often when Mercury goes direct, we find that we've made errors or a mistake or something hasn't been communicated clearly enough. But it is a great time for research and finding and delving and Scorpios, you love that. So these are the things I would use it for. And also sorting out, sorting out your paperwork, cleaning things up that need cleaning and letting go of things. I know Scorpios, you don't like letting go. I know it's not in your nature, but boy, this is really the time to do it during the retrograde. Not only do we have Mercury retrograde, we also have Mars going retrograde this month as well on the 20th of December until the 10th of March. So it's a long retrograde and this only happens every two years and two months. And this is one of your ruling planets and it's also in Leo, which is another fixed sign. So this Mars retrograde, Scorpios, is going to affect you pretty deeply. It's, it's falling in your 10th house. And the 10th house is all about your reputation, your career, who you are in the world, how you see yourself and how others see you. And it's about feeling empowered in this area. And Mars is all is going to show you the areas that you feel frustrated, the areas where you feel as though things are not going well, where you feel as though you may be disempowered. You need to look at areas where you where do you need to feel more assertive? Where are you not being assertive enough? Where are you just somehow sitting back and watching without taking action, uh, Scorpio? Sometimes you sit back and you're seething on the inside, but you're not actually taking action. And take the action between now and the 20th of the month. After that, that's a time when you start to internalise. That's a time when I'd like you to start looking at the triggers that trigger anger, that trigger frustration in you, that trigger the feeling of being impotent. It's important to look at these areas and fight and plot a course of action. You're very good at plotting, Scorpio. And during that almost three month period, really plot a course of action as to what you're going to do when Mars goes direct in order to feel empowered in your life. This is a really potent time. And I feel that for you, Scorpios, as long as you don't use it negatively, which is by getting into frustration and feeling angry and holding it in, but that you actually start to research and to really look at your own reactions more carefully and closely and become aware of ways in which you can feel empowered 
and really strong and particularly connected you to your career and to the way that people see you out in the world. So there you have it, Scorpio. Much happening this month, particularly with your finances and your values and also learning something and enjoying maybe just reading and taking in new information. Also, we've got Neptune Jupiter conjunct in that fourth house. So make sure that you are not being misled or not doing too much for your family and feeling as though you're being missing out as well. So I wish you a wonderful 2010. I thank you so much for listening. I wish you a happy, healthy and prosperous year ahead. For those of you that are interested in having your own reading done, here's my website if you'd like a personalised reading just for you or maybe as a gift for somebody that you know and love. I thank you so much for all your kind comments over this year and I wish you well and I'll be back soon with more forecasts. Bye for now.